So hi dear Capricorn, a very very good evening to you guys. This is Anjali Taro and this is a journal of reading for all the Capis, Sun, Moon, Venus, Rising. Keep in mind this is general. It might or might not resonate with you in the first place. The second thing, the roles can be reversed also. Third thing, this is a reading from today till the, not today, this is a reading from 11 till the 21st of September for singles. Okay, I'm going to tap into your current energies and I'm going to see your energies for a new person if somebody new is adding up in your life. Then I'm going to see uh, energy from a past person if uh, they are ready for reconciliation. If you are waiting for somebody to come back around and have reconciliation and the guidance. So let's start. Your current energy is right now at this present moment, Capis. We have the page of words, the lovers and the five of swords. You are very, very stressed out. Very stressed out when it comes to love and relationship. You are not sure whether you are ever going to be attracted to someone the way you were attracted to someone in the past. Or it's it's like you might confuse love and attraction, okay? You might confuse infatuation and attraction and you always end up with the wrong person or with the wrong energy. So right now you are very stressed out. What if you are going to repeat the same mistake again? What if you are going to get infatuated or attracted to a particular person or energy and then it turns out to be your worst nightmare? So you are so stressed out about a particular situation not working out the way you want it to be or uh, you are not able to differentiate between love and infatuation kind of energy. You are so stressed out that you will never be able to have this happily ever after this family kind of dynamic, this uh, relationship kind of solid committed kind of relationship kind of dynamic in your life. Because you are kind of in this energy of I get attracted to people very easily. Then I give all of my heart and soul to them. But uh, when it comes to their like uh, true energies, I can't handle it. So that kind of energy I'm picking for you. Let's see what are your energies for a new person or new connection. If somebody new is adding up in your life, Capis, in these 10 days. We have the Queen of Cups, the Nine of Cups and the King of Swords. Bottom of the deck is the Four of Swords. A very healing, a nurturing kind of energy is coming towards you. But I do see you blocking them. Hmm. Someone who is a very caring, nurturing kind of energy, loving, caring kind of energy. That is a very, very like close to a wish fulfillment kind of energy for you. But you are kind of pissed off, you are kind of frustrated, you are kind of angry because might be physically this is not the person or this is not the kind of energy that you're looking forward to and that is you my uh, you uh, that is why you are rejecting this per this person this energy that is coming towards you with lots of love and care you're like nope not interested this is not the person or this is not the kind of person or this is not the kind of energy that i'm looking forward to so let me cut this uh, person or situation out of my life let me wait a little more let me heal myself a little more so you need a little more space and time for yourself because the opportunities that coming your way in terms of love and relationship, they are not aligning with the energies that, uh, with the specific kind of energies that you are having in your mind regarding love and relationship. So you are like, nope, not interested. Sorry. Goodbye. So it could be a Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius kind of energy that's coming your way, but you are rejecting them because again, you are not aligning with their energies or you feel they are not the right person for you. Okay. This time you are using a lot of logical, logical kind of energies up uh, rather than uh, hurtful or uh, like, uh, you know, l rather than operating from your heart and soul, you are operating from your mind. Let's see what are your en energies for an ex coming back to you. Capis, if somebody, if, if your ex is coming back for reconciliation, it's not somebody. It's specifically the ex that you are waiting for if you are wanting them back in your life, if they are also wanting you back. We have the, okay, star in reverse and the seven of cups and the knight of swords. See, this person is still very, very uh, unhealed and they are trying their best to heal themselves from uh, all the issues, all the trauma, all the drama that they have gone through because of this uh, separation or breakup with you. They are trying to open up their uh, 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 like options. They are trying to connect with new people, new situations as much as they can. But whenever they are getting near to anybody, they are running away from their own emotions. So when it comes to this question of are they coming back to you for reconciliation, I don't see that uh, see them because they are still unhealed yet uh, they are trying to op open up their options to uh, towards love and relationship for, for new connection, new situations and when somebody is trying to get close to them, they are running away straight like nope. Because of this uh, breakup separation, what have happened between you and this particular person or energy, they are not able to cope up with the love and relationship kind of things as of now. So they are trying their best to connect with the new energies, new people and trying to uh, find a peaceful solution, find a partner but 
they are not able to do that because again lots of unhealed energy and lots of uh, uh, like uh, confusion kind of energies there for them let's see what is the guidance for you guys in the situation capis we have the nine of wands the six of wands the three of pentacles stop fighting for something that's not functioning anymore for you capricorn okay stop fighting for that you just focus on your individual growth and success your uh, own loving caring self love self care self nurturing and self uh, uh, giving kind of energy should be there from your side then you will uh, you will be able to attract the partnership the collaboration the specific energy the specific person that you might be looking forward to but you have to let it go completely out of your system and you have to be your own solar system you have to be your own universe okay so please stop fighting for something or someone that that is not aligning with your energies anymore okay just let it go just uh, be with yourself and uh, be your own center of attention and the right people right connection right situation even the specific person that you are routing for they will also come back to you if they are meant for you in this lifetime if not you are going to connect with the person that's meant for you with a very happy and beautiful positive energy okay so thank you so much for tuning in uh, uh, capis i'll see you soon in the next video bye bye take care god bless you namaste